for. So could you uh, maybe share also a little bit about uh, your experience um, in this sort of like taking the piano outside of the concert hall and going to neighborhoods or, uh, you know, or different locations, which would uh, we would not normally think about? Yeah, I, I think I started doing that um, when I was, when I graduated from Juilliard in, uh, it was at 96, um, I started playing concerts for an organization called the Piatigorsky Foundation. And that foundation's mission is to bring classical music to new audiences everywhere. And um, so I had lots of concert tours where I would do something like 10 concerts in East Texas. And I would go to libraries and community centers and churches and, and you know, each day do a different concert. And the concert always involved talking about the music that I was playing as well as playing it. And um, those concerts were some of the most memorable experiences I've ever had. And uh, I started just doing, doing this in general. You know, I just, I really enjoy going to different communities and um, it's, it is a fabulous experience to play at Carnegie Hall or at some beautiful, beautiful concert hall. Like the acoustical space is so inspiring. And, and also the history surrounding a concert hall has a lot of resonance and inspiration. But um, I don't really like the elitism of classical music. I don't like the fact that there's a kind of class culture around it because basically people that are wealthy enough to get tickets to go to see concerts are the ones that listen to concerts. And, um, and that seems unfair. And it seems also like it's, it's excluding a whole group of people and making people think that there's some kind of, um, there's some kind of mystique or um, uh, highbrow nature to classical music that is only for certain types of people. 